Good day, listeners. Welcome to Storytime with Ajoke. Today, we'll be looking at the movie Better. Yes, that's the hottest movie at the moment. It's the story of Kanye, a very young guy who fell in love with his lecturer. Of course, he knew he was going to be rejected, so he found an alternative. That is by being a ghost boyfriend. Sia fell in love with Kanye, and their bond was stronger than anyone could imagine. He got her gift, showered her with lots of love, and was always watching over her in school and helping out her stores like carrying her bag. So he got her a car and that was followed with an with a very expensive diamond ring. Kanye asked her to marry him and she said yes without even thinking twice. I was like, why would you accept such engagement? Somebody you have never seen before. All they did was one blurry video call and audio calls. Well she had her doubts but she just decided to to ignore. So they did this for a year, and then they planned their big day, their introduction. During the introduction, the bride price was paid. Kai begged his grandfather to represent him, and he should ensure that he brought Sia home. He really loved her. When Sia first saw Kai, she was like, "Ah, uh-uh, Kai, what are you doing here?" And when they, and that was when they gave her the shock of her life. So Kai, our own student, has been the person she's been in love with all this while. All the love she had felt was just a sham. Was she going to lose everything she had worked for all because of a small boy? A spoiled brat for that matter. No way. She insisted her family was going to return the bride price. There's absolutely no way she was going to marry her own student. She was devastated. She was. She felt so down. She was in the news, like she was in all the papers. So Kai said it was an adult who is who has been controlling a million dollar company since he was 17. He loved her so much and was not willing to let go. Sia didn't give in. She returned the engagement ring and they both went their separate ways and they were living their normal lives. After this, Sia began to miss Kai, of course, and she realized she had fallen in love more than she could ever imagine. There was no way she could pull back out of that relationship that felt so perfect to, for her. She gave Kanye the chance to prove himself that he was man enough. And they got back together and it was such it was it was such a happy ending. So shout out to Ruth Kadiri for such an amazing movie. See you some other time. Thank you and God bless.